The call from our children is clear. We need to call the climate crisis by its real name and act as if our lives depend on it, because they do. My name is Kajsa Kramming and I'm one of the spokespeople for Föräldravrålet, a Swedish network of 26,000 parents mobilizing for more ambitious political action to tackle the climate crisis. We are also the initiators of a global network of parents called Our Kids Climate, a growing movement of parent-led groups fighting for our children's right to live to a livable climate. As a parent, I try to keep my child safe from harm. I make sure she uses a seatbelt when in a car. I try to make sure she eats healthily and I teach her to look twice before crossing the street. But there is a threat that will affect children everywhere, some more than others, and that is the current breakdown of the climate system. As a parent, I feel it is my moral responsibility to make sure my child knows I did everything in my power to make sure that she and other children have a livable future. Because all children have a right to feel hopeful and excited about their lives and what's coming next. Children should not have to school strike, to sue their governments or to grapple with de climate anxiety. The climate crisis is our responsibility, not our children's. As parents and adults, we have tools available that we can use to make a difference. We can use the power of our vo wallets, of our votes and of our voices in our workplaces and boardrooms. The time to do that is now. The climate crisis is already harming our children today through deadlier droughts, storms, sea level rise, flooding and heat waves. And children are the most vulnerable to these disasters. They are also disproportionately impacted by the poverty, food insecurity, displacement and psychological trauma that is caused by climate disasters. The effect of inaction is stark. More children will suffer from harm and even death if we don't act swiftly and decisively. Even though we know how to solve the climate crisis and we have all the technical solutions, the transitions of our societies are stalled. This is due to lack of will from political leaders, companies clinging to old business models and too little public pressure to change the status quo. This is what is destroying our climate system on which life itself depends. The transition of our societies will in the long term mean a better future for all of us. It will mean cleaner air, thriving ecosystems and healthier people. It is time to make sure our decision makers listen to the children and to us parents who are the uncompromising defenders of their lives and health. We need to create a safe, healthy and fair world for all children today and tomorrow. A world where our own children can grow up and dream of their future. A future filled with hope and possibilities. As parents, we will take action in our own lives. We commit to shifting toward a more sustainable ways of living, to actively engaging our communities and to act politically. But that is not enough. We demand that Stefan Löfven, the person ultimately responsible for Swedish politics makes a climate promise to make sure that Swedish climate goals and policies are aligned with the Paris Agreement, the IPCC report and the latest scientific demands. This means ensuring the compass is set to halving Sweden's emission faster than every 10 years and enacting bold climate action now to kickstart the transition towards a safe, healthy and fair world for all children. We want a dialogue with Prime Minister Stefan Löfven to ensure that our children's perspectives and rights are taken into account. What can you do to support the campaign? Please click I agree to support us. And once you've done that, find some parents around you that are worried about their children's futures and start your own Our Kids Climate campaign. The time to do that is right now. Thank you.